Hey guys, good morning. I hope you guys are blessed and well. Divine Fair Masculine. You are so close to your wish fulfillment. It's crazy. Okay, sorry y'all. You are so close to your wish fulfillment. It is just literally crazy right here. Whoever this Leo Aries or this Sagittarius is that's in your life, this person is like um, the villain in your story, I guess. They're trying to block you and another person from coming together. I keep telling you guys this over and over again. There's a spiritual union. A lot of these twin flames are coming together. It's a lot of just beautiful love energy, and it's like true love. It's not fake love, you know, um... It's, it's your person. It's the person that you were designed for and that was designed for you. It's something about design as well. You could be some kind of engineer, some kind of graphic web design. You could do interior decorating or something. The truth universe is out here. Somebody wants you to slip up and just completely walk away from your wish fulfillment. Like all the hard work that you're putting into something, crown chakra reverse. Basically... All of the hard work that you're putting in, somebody wants to prove that it's for nothing, but it's not. I feel like somebody is going very hard for, you know, something that ain't meant to be. Throat chakra. I feel like pay attention to what you are speaking and what you are listening to. Discontent and boredom in the reverse. And then you have harmony. It's like this This love is full of amazing times and, you know, just memories of just extravagant stuff, you know, just celebrating whatever this is. You don't know that it's coming towards you, but it is. I feel like you don't know that it's coming towards you or it's this person that's coming towards you or something. This is literally somebody that you asked for, not necessarily someone that asked for you. This is a divine partnership. And it's like, oh, wow, what a coincidence that the person that I asked for is actually my person. What I said. I feel like you get nudges about certain people, places, and things for a reason. You dig a you? Like, there's definitely a reason why things happen and why things don't happen the way that they happen. It's all about why. More than likely... You can't just be paying attention to the things that people are doing or that they're saying. You have to know why. It's, it's all about why something is going on, why somebody's saying something, why they're doing a certain thing. These cards want to keep coming out two at a time. I'm hearing same damn time by future. I keep hearing that song for some reason. It's like you're, you're able to multitask in a manner that is scary or there's a need for you to be able to mark... Um, work more than one it's a need for you to be able to multitask here light in the reverse so coming out of your shell but somebody's name is michelle lachelle or tushelle or something like that tushira latera it's like you're coming you, you're always going to be of light. Like, you're always going to be a light being. But it's like you're coming out of the light. It's like you're taking a break. It seems like somebody is going on a hiatus or something. Whether this is voluntary or involuntarily, I don't know. I don't know what this could be, fam, masculine. It seems like somebody is trying to force you to go into solitude, though. They're like, they're waking up or they're waking up too many people. They're doing too much. This person is too blessed. I can't stand to see them shining. They're shining too bright and I'm not doing anything. So, you know, let me be a miserable explorer. Let me be miserable and do the things that miserable people do. What else is here? Deep knowing. You have a deep knowing that you need to cut something off. You need to clean something up so that you can have a leg up. Or you're always with a leg up, I feel. Um, I feel like you always have the upper hand in a situation here. Literally, the upper hand. Making toast, you're, you're raising toast, you're celebrating. You always got the upper hand in a situation, but you may not know your strength, your power. When it comes to you, only you should be able to, you know, 
clarify and verify certain things. It's like somebody is trying to completely take over your energetic field so that you have no say so in your own life or something. These are people that are stuck. Like they're stuck, literally. These are people that are in prison. Like they're trapped in marriages that they don't want to be in that are not distant. But I feel like if you're married and you're stuck, that's your destiny. They just don't want to be stuck. So the feeling of someone feeling stuck, they're like, I need to get out of this because I'm stuck. But that's your fate to be stuck. Somebody is stuck with someone. It's not Nia Chucky. They're stuck with somebody simply because that's what they chose. It's like you just simply, somebody simply can't do something here. And that's not your fault, but you know, here they come with the chaos and the conflict, causing confusion, trying to bring stagnation to you because nothing in their life is working, literally. You have to let go of this person. I don't know who this could be. And it's seeming like they need to let go of you because I feel like you're not even aware that this person is in your energetic field. But you need to tell the father, look, dad, I don't give nobody consent to be in my energy. No one. If you know on a daily basis you're not dealing with nobody, and it doesn't have to be a particular person. It could just simply be speaking in general. I don't want anyone in my energy. I don't give you any consent to be in my energy. Why are you in my energy? And see, for a lot of you guys, you all are in the public eye and things like that. And you just got people that are infatuated with you. They're very impressed with your gifts or something. You got people that are just, you got some people here that are just crazy about you. They can't go a day without your word or something. Time to go. You got some people that truly lean on you for their day-to-day -day lives, you know, new life. And in a way that's very toxic. People should not be this dependent on anyone. This is codependency, especially if you are a reader or something like these people. You got people that go crazy when you don't post something. They go crazy and every message that you put out, they feel like it's about them. And, you know, they they always have you on their mind because they never know what to do. These people never know what's like. They don't know how to listen to their intuition or go and talk to my dad about something. They solely keep thinking of you. And it's like all of this energy is coming towards you because these people simply won't leave you alone. Chop wood. You may literally end up cutting off something completely, especially when it comes to like social media, because you're seeing that these people are draining you. These are like subscribers or something. People who cannot just listen to messages, apply them and move on. These people have to make your life their personal life or something. And that's not everyone that subscribed to you. But it's some people in your energy that are subscribed or following you. It's like you're part of their daily routine, but in a very negative way. They have no guidance. These people do not listen to themselves whatsoever. They go to you for everything. And if you don't post something, these people will literally get on their knees and beg God for you to show up, do a reading or something. Like these people be trying to summon you. This is very unhealthy for you. It's beyond unhealthy for them. These people are psychotic, flexible and regeneration. I'm going to say this again. This is not every single subscriber. This is not everyone that is doing this. It is certain people that are dependent on you and myself included. It's people that depend on me to give them answers to their life. I appreciate that, but you really need to stay the fuck out of my energy. If I'm called to do a reading, I will do so. I'm not going to do no reading because you don't know something. You need to go fucking figure it the fuck out. Go talk to God. Y'all be all in my chat. God is good. God is good. But you're sitting up here depending on everybody but God. Loyal heart here and higher power. Like I fucking said, you need to go and get a relationship with God. You don't have no kind of relationship with God. You're very far away. And I feel like these are fucking karmies that are subscribed to me. Karmies that may be subscribed to you. These hoes and niggas be in between fucking worlds with no peace at all. They be in between worlds not knowing what to do. They're trying to get information that they're simply not going to fucking get. This is why I don't read twin flames like that. Because these bitches always trying to go look for some information about divine fucking masculine. Bitch, it ain't your business. 
If you don't know where this man dick located at right now, ho, this man don't want you knowing. He don't want you, he don't want nothing to do with you. If this person is not answering your messages, your phone calls, whatever the case is, he don't want shit to do with you. This woman don't want nothing to do with you. Why can't you understand that? It ain't no magic in the world that you're going to do to make this person be with you. They don't want you. So these karmic hoes and niggas is always flip-flopping through different tarot readings, you know, trying to see what this divine masculine is up to. But everybody is not a truth speaker. So they go to the motherfuckers that's going to speak the goddamn truth. And these hoes trying to come camouflage and blending in like they're divine feminists and masculines. No, you're not. You're karmic as fuck. And that's exactly why you bitches won't get any information not from me. You can go to anyone else who just need to deliver a message, bitch. And who doing this shit for money? Go to them motherfuckers and get some messages, ho, because I got nothing for you. Treasure Island in the reverse. Divine Feminine Masculine, it is a time now for you definitely to protect your energy. Like I said, it's the faith. By the book, something is going to be done fairly. You're not going to exchange gifts with anybody. I don't feel like you want nobody's life. I feel like it's hard enough being who you are. It's very hard to try to keep up a persona that ain't yours. Bruh, it's hard as hell even being who you are. Bruh, do y'all not know how hard it is to even find out who you are? What I said, bruh. It's hard enough trying to find out who you is without all the illusions. Y'all folk got family members who keeping your identity hidden from you. Stealing money and shit because they're envious. Because nothing was left behind to them. They didn't want you to be the boss. They don't want you to be the boss now. But you are the boss in your own life. Doesn't matter. Your bag is still plenty. Still hefty, honey. These folk just trash bags. You're healthy, though. And you so fine, you can make a trash bag look good. You make a trash bag glad. What I say, you can put on a whole ass trash bag and look better than these bitches and niggas. And then, too, it's something about trash bags. Like, somebody is walking or, or jogging, running something, and you're wearing trash bags. Maybe, to you know, you're tying bags and shit around your body. Maybe, I guess, or to sweat or something. I don't know. Attachment. It's like you're looking better than ever. You're sounding better than ever. You're doing better than ever. You're good. These people are not... I just feel like you have to keep your, uh, just keep your composure, especially when it comes to thinking. Because somebody is envious. They're always thinking of something. Every hour on the hour is what I just heard. Somebody is trying to find a way to bring your shit down. Every hour on the hour, shouty. I don't know why I just looked at myself and seen Pocahontas. But somebody got some real long, pretty ass hair. Not Rapunzel kind of energy, but I'm getting Pocahontas. I'm seeing somebody who was out in the fucking wilderness. Somebody who was out in the mud for real. Somebody who made it through that mud. Fam, that's when you deserve everything you're getting without these folk coming to leech off of you. I'm sick of these leeching motherfuckers, bro. Get your own goddamn abundance. Get your own fucking abundance. And then when something ain't coming in for them or something like that, they look directly to you. They like, oh, something didn't work out for me. Patience. They, something didn't work out for me, so let me go make sure that ain't nothing working out for them. And they come to your, your page or your channel and everything is just fine with you. That's where all that envy comes from. This person got a very envious spirit with them. They're contracted to be a loser. That's what I'm saying. This person thinks that something's going to change. It's not. You're going to always be a loser. Unless they are attached to you, everything. But even with this person being attached to you, they have no attachment to your, your blessings. This Somebody last name, Billings. This person don't got no attachment to your blessings. They can they can try to talk to you all they want. They can I mean they can try to be deceiving and deceitful all they want. Trying to act like they really fuck with you and they don't. They feel like they're gonna get some kind of protection or abundance or something. They're not. That's a fucking illusion as well. The illusions that they're trying to paint to you are being painted back to them. Somebody has a picture in their home that looks exactly like this. It's a garden with trees and things, but I feel like the only thing about it is fruit. Fruit. It's fruits. Like apples and grapes and things like that. It's fruits in the picture, but it looks exactly like that depiction on that card. Somebody say, how you know that? Spirit told me. Spirit told me. <laughs> the world card, it's over. Whoa. Something's getting out of control. Somebody ain't going to be, somebody's going to fumble something. They're going to drop something. And it's also too, somebody's about to drop a major hit. I heard Lotto. Okay, somebody is dropping a song with Lotto. I don't know who this is or what this is, but it sounds really nice. I heard Billboard 11. This song is going to go to 11 first. That's going to be the first spot on the Billboard. It's number 11. And it seemed like it's going to stay number one for a while. It's going to eventually get number one. 
but it's gonna stay number one. So I don't know who the fuck this is. Goddess of the moon. Something is hidden. Something is really hidden. And it's something about being hidden. Like I said, you might be hiding at this time. I don't feel like you're hiding because you're scared. You're just, you can do without the bullshit. Angel of love. It's like the more energy you put into something, the less you're getting back, which is, that's like, that's not an even exchange. So it means that something ain't right. If you're not getting an even exchange from the work that you're putting out, from the energy that you're putting out, you need not to be putting energy there, is what I'm saying. Woman holding a coin, there's the cornucopia. I feel like your bag is going to be good regardless. What I said, your money is good regardless, bro, okay? Whether you take a break or you just keep putting pressure on hoes and niggas. Even if you took a break, you still got the pressure on. What I said, car still running. You might got the brake on. Yeah, I motherfucker had a car with the brake on running and that shit still in drive. Motherfuckers ain't even putting their car in park on you bitches and the motherfuckers ain't finna let you even think you gonna have a, uh, have a one up or get in front of them or nothing like that. This person can take a break and still blow your ass out the water while they're gone. This person makes money. It seems like something generates more when you're not there. Action. Occupation, I just heard. Somebody is working. This is about your work. And somebody also coming in trying to get information on how you doing something, how you working on something so that they can try to slow it down. This is a deceiving ass nigga or a bitch, bro. Jeff period, shout This person got some kind of strategy, but there's Archangel Ralph. Like, y'all folk, y'all don't be seeing these Archangels here. This is a Leo or somewhere. You can have Leo heavily in your chart. Like, y'all really don't be seeing folks spiritual team. Let me know that you really, truly ain't into my dad like you claim you are. Rest in rejuvenation. Somebody in this energy always talking about God is good, God is this, and God is that. He is all of that. Why don't you truly believe it, though, bitch? You don't believe that shit, bro. You don't. You really don't believe in my father at all, and that shit be pissing me off, bro. This is fake-ass faith. This is convenient faith. This is social faith. Bitches that want to be faithful when it's other people around. But when you by yourself, you complaining about everything and you blaspheming in the Holy Spirit. Man, fuck you, bro. Please don't get me started on this shit. Dad, please don't tell me that's what they're reading leading us to. Because, boy, hell no. Nah, I don't feel like going in on y'all fools, bro. Stop fucking depending on other people, bro. You're losing and you're going the wrong fucking way. Pathway. Mature man in the reverse. You're not bringing no endings to this person. I don't know what the fuck you thought, but it'll be you losing everything, honey bun. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It'll be you losing every single thing in your life. Somebody's about to lose every damn thing. After they set back trying to cause you to lose everything. Bad nose, bad motherfucking panties. This bitch and her kids will be in fucking poverty. Ho, oh well. Oh well, bitch. That's what you get, ho. You need to leave this feminine or this masculine alone. This is why you cannot generate anything. You're too busy focused on someone damn else. I'm just sick of this. This cannot always be y'all energy. I got thousands of readings on the same fucking energy, bro. This is what's coming up. This ain't my energy. I don't hold this kind of energy. These folk or you hold this energy. Straight up. And it's like they won't get out of your energy. These people won't get out of your business. Some sad, scorned-ass bitch or a nigga that done lost everything in a marriage, a divorce. They lost everything getting married to this person, for one. Whoever you think about, that's exactly who I'm talking about, period. They lost everything getting married to begin with. But they lost everything in a divorce, too. This person committed to a karmic, and they thought that they were going to what? Get sudden wealth? No, bitch, you're in poverty. The hell are you talking about this person is in prison this person is damn near locked up right here and then too so this is bro i'm telling somebody be getting somebody locked up all the time somebody in this energy gets a uh, masculine energy specifically they get this person bro this person is always in jail like this person is in and out in and out of jail they're losing money like everything that come in their hand it goes they never are receiving anything that they were promised from deities or whatever like this person is always being let down they losing their gifts and everything this is crazy and a part of this well, sincerely, most of this has to do, they're losing all this like this because they keep constantly trying to take from you. That's truly what I'm picking up on. You dig a rich kill? Somebody's fate is to be a loser because they keep constantly trying to cause loss for you. Every time, I keep saying this, every time somebody casts a spell on you 
it's a point on the board. You get even more protection. You get even more abundance. You get even more. These people are doing nothing but making you more abundant. Your enemies are literally your footstool. Then I say occupation. It's not working. Somebody is harassing someone at work or they're going to start harassing you at work or something. Somebody fucking around with somebody's desk or a parking spot. Somebody being real petty. And this could be where you live too. Hoes and niggas is trying to assign parking spots when there's no names on spaces. No numbers on spaces or something. And if there were, it's like first come, first serve or something like that. Somebody so fucking petty, they gonna they gonna get they gonna they, this. It seems like it's a car that's disabled. They're trying to preserve a parking spot or something. Every time you leave, they pull this car or they push this car into that parking space and they leave it for days and weeks, and then they'll move it. And then it's like every time you move, they move into the spot that you're in or something. This is petty. Yeah, something around your house. This is only if you live like in an apartment or something, okay, here. Somebody also is like a traveling nurse, and this could be going on with that. Oh, trust me, you got somebody that's following your every move, and they're in despair two times here. There's double despair for somebody simply because what you're working on, they're trying to bring conflict to you, and you're not bothering anyone. I heard they done woke the giant. Like, somebody is going to literally force you to... Defend yourself or something because whoever you are, you just you just don't pay shit any attention. And I feel like that's defense enough. That's defense of enough for because these hoes and niggas being bad help when you simply don't acknowledge that they're even there. But it's something here that this person they're gonna keep doing something over and over and over again, and you're gonna do something and it's gonna bring you so much abundance, but it will be cutting everybody and everywhere off. It's like you're gonna be off to yourself and just abundant as hell. Courtship. Somebody is trying to keep a close eye on this relationship or something. They're keeping a close eye on your work. They're keeping a close eye, even on your kids, <clears throat> trying to end something for you with the coughing card. And somebody is coughing, like coughing a lot. Like this person need to go see a goddamn urgent care or something while they in your business. This bitch right here, this is what I'm saying. They're so codependent and backwards. This person be Googling their symptoms and shit instead of actually going to the doctor. Like I said... This person doesn't know answers to shit. This person doesn't know anything. They're always coming in these readings looking for information. Oh, what do I need to do on today? How do I solve this problem? Bitch, what is your common sense telling you to do? This person was always cheating on somebody else's work in school. Dumb bitch was writing somebody else's name. This person is such a damn cheater. They're a copycat. They cheat their whole goddamn way through life. This is someone who was passed on in life. They were just passed by because nobody wanted to deal with their shit. Courthouse. Here we go. Somebody got to go to court. Now they come in looking for, to you for information. Divine Feminine Masculine, watch what I tell you. Once you go on break or something, you are going to have so many people emailing you. Oh my God, are you okay? Leaving you messages and, and just trying to contact you in ways you didn't even think people knew that you had social media and shit. They reaching out to you on your Instagram and Facebook. All of a sudden, they can find your social media. These people don't support your social media no other time. But they all of a sudden know your social media when you disappear. When you take some time out for your fucking self. Somebody doesn't understand it. Somebody could have just lost a family member too. Like, you got a, a, a life. Somebody passed away from bad health. Like, what the fuck? You got a life too. And it's people that sit up here and depend on everything that you do for to, but it's to gain something for themselves. These people don't give a fuck about what you're going through. There's some kind of uh, change that happened here. Raising canes, cane, a cane is significant. Like you gonna be seeing a lot of people on walkers, canes, crutches, and shit. Cause somebody on their last leg, somebody ain't somebody ain't gonna be able to walk this path. Somebody is not gonna be able to walk this path with you. Message your concern reverse. I feel like. You truly are just taking time for yourself. You're you're regenerating your energy or something. You're building your you're charging yourself. You're charging yourself, bro. I feel like you're your own support system. You and your spiritual team. You know, and somebody is wondering like how you do it all. They like, oh, they so strong. How do they, you know, work, take care of their house, raise their kids? You nigga reach you all by themselves. I wish I had that strength. How do they, you know, 
Oh, so let me go and do some spell work to try to take their strength. I need to do a spell to be strong like them or something like that. It's, it's people in this world that they, they, they try to solve everything with a fucking spell or something, bro. That shit is not accurate, bro. That shit don't last. It just don't. If you don't have natural ability to manifest natural strength, natural love and things like that, bro, you're not truly abundant, bro. You're not abundant. That shit is an illusion. Magic is an illusion for whatever the case may be. And that shit definitely is temporary. I feel like go to the most side. That's how I feel. I feel like God is the only magician. God is the only one that can truly grant you what it is you desire. But you have to put in the work. Oh, but that's y'all problem. You don't want to put in no fucking work. You don't want to look at yourself for the fucked up ass person that you truly are and the fucked up ass shit that you've done, the shit you're doing now and that you will do in the future. You don't want to address that, huh? You want to get little nicks and, and ways around some shit, bitch. You trying to go and snake your ass through the energy. I'm literally seeing that game snake. Somebody got a snake tattooed around their wrist. Yeah, because you're you fucking conjoined with a damn snake. Snake energy. Pay attention to somebody's tattoos as well. Somebody got the devil. Like, somebody worships, worships the devil. And they literally got pictures of devil shit all over their body. I feel don't do no bit, no shake hands on that with that person. Whatever the fuck this is, you gonna see all these tattoos. Motherfuckers got them all on their neck, arms, and face and shit. It's not being judgmental, it's being what? Discerning. I feel like you're expecting these folks, they bullshit. You're expecting some bull. But like I said, whenever you do, stop. I don't feel like you're just going to quit giving messages. You're going through something that's requiring you to go within. It's like these people don't give a fuck. They cause they feel like you're so strong. That's what I'm saying. Oh, they'll be all right. God love them. They need to come and give me my messages, or they need to they need to make some more content because I'm fucking bored. I need something to watch. I need something to entertain me. I feel like you got in this field because it's something that you were called to do. This don't gotta be tarot. You can do anything. Bro, you can make funny videos. You can you're a healer in some way. You can do anything. You're just deciding to take a break because you lost someone. And you got people here that's trying to force you to come out when you're just chilling. Some of y'all just going to turn your whole entire phone off. Because you got everything you need with you anyway. You don't need to tune into the outside world or anything like that. Somebody is just going within. And it seems like it's a lot of people here that don't respect that. You got some people that will really get mad at you because you don't post. Because... They got in the situation and you weren't there to tell them what to do. I don't feel like these bitches and niggas putting no money in your pocket either. I don't feel like they paying for that shit. The fuck is you talking about? You want information for free. Y'all cheap ass bitches and niggas. You don't want to hire this person as a, a personal advisor. You want to get some free ass fucking messages, bitch. Let's talk about it. Y'all a bunch of cheap ass hoes and niggas that expect some, some expensive shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. You're not even doing no work. You're not putting in no work. You got this imprisonment ass mentality. And this is exactly why you're not on the right path. Somebody going right to jail too. Somebody think they're going to come down your way. No, nah, somebody going to get their ass locked up trying to come towards you. Somebody literally doesn't know what to do. Like you, bro, y'all got some people out here that have no intuition whatsoever. None. Like they literally don't know what to do on a day-to-day -day basis. That would be profitable if you were doing something for money right like if, if somebody truly just needed you as an advisor needed you like a right hand step by step in their life that would be profitable right but what this is it's not profitable what up these people want too much from you for nothing that's what i'm saying man fuck you and what you talking about if somebody want to take a break they got every right to do that they got what you need bitch you don't got nothing that this person needs you don't even know what the fuck you're doing you need this person to guide you in every fucking step of life. And then when they don't post, you gonna get mad, bitch. Fuck you. Stop watching this person. Why don't you go and find out the information you need on your own? You keep forgetting that the shit that you need is within you, ho. And like I felt you were a goddamn karmic anyway. You're trying to find out information about this man. He does not love you. I keep saying this, ho. I keep constantly telling you this. Stay the fuck away from my channel, bitch. You're not gonna get no information on this man or this woman. Send bad holding grudges. Who gives a fuck? Then hoes want to try to wish bad on you. Send you the evil eye and shit. Bitch, back at you, ho. You and your, your kids and all y'all. Fuck you, too. The hell is you talking about? 
The fuck is you talking about, bitch? Fuck all of y'all folk with this shit. What is you saying, bro? Y'all folk got life fucked up. Shout out this person don't owe you shit. Or you don't owe this person shit. You don't owe these people nothing, bro. You don't even know these people. These some goddamn subscribers. These are, they, they're not your true supporters. They're just subscribed to you because it's something that you do that is beneficial in a way to them. I'm not talking about these people that actually genuinely love you and support you. These are not, these are karmics. You got a bunch of karmics in your energy. You got a, half of your karmic, half of these subscribers that you have is karmic. And they be in the chat trying to fucking talk that shit, acting like they're a part of your collective and they're not. These people don't like you, bro. It's just something that you have. They getting their shit and they need answers. They need to know how to move. They can't do anything without you. They got love on the brain for someone that does not love them. Looking you up every time you turn around, this person got your name in a search bar. Every time. I'm telling you, if you don't post, this person go crazy. These people be having the worst days of their life if you don't tell them what to do. That is so selfish because I feel you have your own fucking life. And then all of a sudden, you feeling all this negative ass energy because you're not telling hoes and niggas what they want to hear. I feel like you're telling these people what they need to know. This person is rejected. And then tell me why a bitch want to be you. These same energies that need the information from there, they're trying to use information to be you. You stop posting, you stop doing something, they, can't, they ain't got shit to copy. Head in the clouds. A lot of these hoes be doing this shit for money, bruh, and they're losing. They're doing it for the wrong reasons. They don't got real messages. These some fake-ass several car read bitches that be coming to your readings and mine too, bitch. Fuck you, ho. They come in these readings and they steal bits and pieces of the message and try to pull some fucking cards. Not to mention all the candles and shit and blood they had to prick to even get a connection in the beginning. That shit ain't genuine. That's doing a bit too much. You're doing too much. Somebody last name Birch or Baldwin. Man, bitch, bye. Last chance. Always watching you. Always watching. Somebody last name is Howard. These people are played out. You're, you got a whole jackpot. Like, you're, you're enjoying your abundance. And it's like somebody don't know what to do. They, this person, they depend on you too much. Spirit is telling you, this person, you don't even know them. Or you don't know these people or something. And it's like... If you don't tell them something, they get, like, this person gets so pissed off when, and then, especially if something happens, they should have posted and told me what to do, or something like that. Like, who the fuck, like, bitch, what are you talking about? This You are not paying this person. Y'all bitches want some, some extravagant shit for free. You don't want to support this person truly, bitch. All that fake ass goddamn support. Then want to come screenshot and put a bitch on the fucking auction because shit ain't going your way. And that shit still gets rejected. Everything you do get rejected. And it goes right back to you and fucking yours, bitch. Child, I feel like you got rid of this obsessive lover. Or it was an obsessive lover trying to come towards you. Child, please, you block this person too. It's like you stick and move, stick and move. Whoever you is, bro, you are so abundant. I can't, bro, I can't even explain... But you need to understand certain boundaries, like even through social media, you have to put up boundaries. You can, you should be able to take a break whenever you want to. You ain't got to let nobody know what the fuck you doing or not. You have your own life and it, it's not your true supporters. Like they, they, they actually worry about you. It's some bitches right here. They don't give a fuck about how you doing. They just need you to give them some goddamn entertainment. They need to know answers to stuff. They don't give a damn how you doing today. They don't care. Like I said, same shit, different day. Fake fucking flexing. Acting like they like you and they don't. Bitches just don't, they don't know what to do. And they don't know nobody that read like you or something. They don't know nobody that sing like you, that rap like you, that dance like you, that talk like you, that preach like you, write like you. Whatever the case may be, you are the GOAT. It's like you're the best at whatever it is. It's a lot of people that do this shit, but you're the best. And this hoe or these hoes and these niggas keep coming back to you. They depend on you like a lifeline. It could be some losing niggas and bitches in jail. 
You're the boss. You can do what you want. Wow, they're gonna try to come ruin your reputation because you ain't you taking a break. Okay. The fuck? Like, what can you do about what somebody else is doing? And it never works because where they're doing shit from is a low vibrational heart space. They doing shit in hatred, shouty. Somebody gonna come out trying to make noise with your name and shit. Obviously, too. I feel like if you have been on a hiatus or something like that, be prepared for somebody to be coming out talking shit. This person just wants you to make an appearance. Where have they been? I need to see what they've been up to. How do they look now? What's going on? They're just trying to get you to come out. I feel like you're just chilling, bro. They love calling you broke and that you're doing something for money and that you're doing this and the other, but you can't take a break, huh? It's like you can't do nothing right. You can't do nothing wrong. And offer in the reverse. A lot of y'all too, this is coming from somebody that you turned down. This is an offer from a company or from a specific person that you turned down an offer. It could be a relationship. I don't know. But I feel like it's mostly work. You turn these people down and these people are now stalking you. I feel like you just don't want to work with anybody. What the hell is wrong with that? Why you just can't? I mean, because... I feel like God got you doing something by himself simply because he don't want nobody feeling like they're going to say they the reason why you're successful. God wants you how you are. You're doing something solely by yourself because God, he's the one that's raising you or he's the one that's promoting you. He's using other people to do so as well. But these hosts and niggas is not finna take no accountability or credit or none of that for your success, bro. Somebody is looking at you like you're a superman or superwoman. Like, how do they manage to get up every day? Where do they get all of their energy from to keep going, even after I'm sending them all these attacks? These same people asking these questions are the ones that are attacking you. I mean, these people send the strongest shit to you and it's nothing to you. That's what I'm saying. Bro, these folks put so much energy into some shit and you're still not blocked. You're still able to think with a clear and a free mind, free will. Your conscience is clear. These same people that are so concerned, where do they go? Where do they go? They, this person, somebody going to cast some kind of bullshit spell or they did. And it's like you're going to disappear or something. But it's really, truly some other shit going on in your life. This person is going to think that they're the cause of you not being around. Yeah, whatever you think, bitch. Okay, stop thinking about this person. They're going to come check on your page every day. Oh, they still ain't posting it. But what I did must have worked. No, bitch, you must not see this shit working on you and your, uh, your family and shit. What you don't see is this shit that's working in your house. This shit has gone full circle in your house. Bitches got the nerve to be trying to put a divine feminine or masculine in a jar, in a freezer, in their kitchen. Bitch, you sitting up here cooking food for your kids that's in a freezer with spell work. Y'all bitches is backwards. Something is wrong with you, shouting. You sitting up here doing spell work in the kitchen using the same pots that you cook food with for your kids. Well, sorry, you ain't using these pots at all, bitch, because you don't cook for your kid. You don't do a fucking thing but cook up goddamn concoctions to try to make this masculine or this feminine lose some. That's why you're losing bone mass and marrow and all kind of shit, bitch. You're looking sick. And your kids do too. Male nourished as fuck. You're putting too much fucking focus, and that's real shit, bitch, on this person. Oh, you want to fight now? Get knocked the fuck out, okay? What are you talking about, bitch? Somebody need to tell you weird hoes the fucking truth. And I'm always telling the truth. So that's kind of ironic how a bitch still don't understand English or something. If you can't understand English, bitch, turn on the captions. You need to understand this. No matter what, when I say what I said, that's exactly what I meant. And you need to figure that shit out on your own. How I said it, that's how I meant to say that shit. I meant to say what I said. You can't understand it. Like I said, put on a fucking caption, bitch, because I'm sick of y'all hoes attacking people for no reason. You're attacking people, and this is literally for no reason. These people are not doing anything to you. They're simply doing what God told them, and you're mad at them because you ain't got shit to do that God told you. He told you to do something. You just didn't do it, bitch. Let's talk about it. Stop trying to act like you a victim and act like God ain't have nothing for you. Bitch, he had plenty of things for you to do. You just ignored it and did what the fuck you wanted to do. Therefore, you slowly but surely slid to the devil's side, ho. Let's talk about it. God give everybody instruction. And if you choose to do so, you do. And you're blessed. And if not, you go get blessed by the devil. Which is hardly or ever, or if you ever do. The devil bless his bullshit ass kids too. You got some fucking nerve. 
send this spell work at a fucking boss, bitch, because they taking a break or something. Because you can't do nothing on your own. You're codependent as fuck on this, on this damn person. Somebody named Hannah or Henna. Henna tattoo is significant. Hennessy is significant. Dage Loaf is significant. Also, Young M.A., bad reputation. Hoes, the niggas got y'all fucked up right here. I just really feel like that. They really don't like you, bro. These folks really don't like you. They don't support what you do. They just, they like the message. They, they, they need to know what's coming next. And half of these people need to know what's coming next so that they can defeat you. Child, please. Look at these losing ass bitches in here right the fuck now creeping. Just in here. Just in here creeping. With no kind of common sense. No kind of blessings or anything. You just in here watching. Sending bitches the evil eye. Like I said, bitch, back at you. This person got a lot on them. Whoever this person, bro, whoever you are, bro, you, it's like you're carrying the whole fucking world on your back or something. And it shouldn't be like that. It should be, like I said, even it changed. Somebody wants you to do hard-ass labor for nothing. They want to continuously benefit and not be paying you what you deserve or, or truly supporting you. Like, you know, support could be a simple like. A subscribe, follow, a share. That's still positive energy. You don't got to give nobody no money. What I said, support. That shit go a long way. These hoes and niggas want to get your messages. They want to get your entertainment and don't even like the shit. And, but they want to soak it up and enjoy it. Bitch, please. Somebody is going to like a perfume counter. Like I felt. Divine Femme is over here. Man, this woman right here is unbothered, bro. Shouty is unfazed. This is a damn boss. Sis can do what the fuck she wants to do. I feel like you're shopping at Sephora and shit, spending four, five hundred dollars on makeup right here, fam. These hoes is the ones losing. Take you a break if that's what you want to do. Bro, if you want to take a break, do that. I promise you these losing hoes and niggas going to be here when you get back. I promise you that. The people that truly love you will be here when you come back. But these losing bitches that's trying to project this shit onto you, they'll still be here. These hoes ain't got nowhere to go. And trust me, they'll be waiting on you. They won't move a muscle. These hoes won't move. They won't have no movement until they see you again. Because they don't ever know what to do. Hoes will lock themselves in the house. Afraid to go outside because you're not there to give them guidance. That's just crazy. I appreciate the support, but please don't ever just lean on me. Don't You need to lean on God, bro. I'm here to guide you to God. That's what I'm here to do, to guide you to the Father. Don't you ever in your life think that I'm going to stop my life for you, bitch. You got me fucked up. You really... Bitch, don't ever in your life project no no losing negative shit onto me, bitch. Because I'm just fine, ho. Don't you ever in your life, bitch, come up in my energetic field without my consent, ho. I don't give none of you bitches or niggas no consent to be in my energy. I don't know you. Can you pick up the phone and call me? Can I pick up the phone and call you? No. So, bitch, what the fuck make you think I want you anywhere near me, ho? The fuck is wrong with you? You bitches and niggas are strange. And it be these people on the goddamn internet. They so damn entitled to something. Fam, asking, like I said, if you want to take a break, and this is not for this is for some karmic motherfuckers. If you're not karmic, bitch, don't take it to don't take it personal. And if you taking what I'm saying personal, bitch, you karmic. And you own this shit. Real motherfuckers know what's up. We know not to take shit that don't belong with us with us. We don't take shit personal that ain't personal. And this shit ain't business either. It just don't relate to you at all. Motherfuckers know what don't resonate. They be like, oh, okay, Shanita, that ain't me. But see, they don't get mad. That's how you know you healed. Just because I said what I said, that don't mean I'm talking to you if it ain't for you. You don't have to take everything and soak it up and feel like it's for you. Use your goddamn common sense. If you're not doing something in a certain manner, then I'm not talking to you. This is being done to you. And it's a shame. It's a mad bitch in here right now that I got to explain that to Y'all hoes is slow. You shouldn't be watching tarot. Tarot is about the truth. The truth comes out in tarot. You shouldn't be watching tarot. You are a very sensitive ass motherfucker. And I'm not talking about no empath. I'm not talking about being an emp empathic being, a light worker. You're, you're sensitive, mean. You're weak. You got weak ass flesh and blood. 
Period. In your head stuck. Bitch, that's your fault. Somebody is desperately trying to make a masculine or a feminine come back to them and they're trying to use you to do it. Man, fuck these folks, bro. Like I said, fail masculine. Whatever this feel, you got your own life to live. Even if this is work, like even if you ain't got nothing to do on social media, you may be going on a break, literally from work, taking a vacation or something, with or without pay. You got motherfuckers calling to check on you or where you at. You ain't let us know. I feel like your boss know that you gone. Like, come on. Somebody wants you to just tell them your every move so that they can be prepared. They don't want you to just up and walk away or some shit because that'll catch them off guard. <laughs> what I said. These folks don't want to be caught off guard with some shit. I'm telling you, it's some energies around you. They literally feel like you're their lifeline. Nothing in their life works unless they come and they research you. Like I said, if it's profitable, okay, but I don't feel like this is. I feel like it's a bunch of hoes and niggas that's trying to use you in a very negative way, very selfish energy. And when you don't provide something, they send you the negative um, evil eye and, you know, things like that. Spirit is wanting you to definitely put up boundaries because these people obviously don't understand. I mean, what's, you don't even need to explain that you got your own life. You don't need to explain that. People go through things, too. That's common sense. But it's like somebody literally, they, 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 um, they depend on everything that you say because you're a very important person. And they like, well, what did God tell them to tell me today instead of them actually going to ask God or something? Like, get your dumb ass out of here, bro. And that's not for people who are genuinely seeking guidance. It's for these stupid motherfuckers that know what they're doing. They don't genuinely like you or anything like that. They wish ill to you and everything. They're trying to get information to block somebody else. Oh, Shanita ain't post today. So how am I supposed to know what masculine doing? How do I supposed to know if he going towards that person? How do I know what to do to go in and block them? Archangel Michael is here. I'm telling you, you gonna, it's like when you go on break, you're going to feel so much negative energy. It's crazy. It's because of these damn people. They're sending it to you. They're, they're really sending you some negative shit because they feel it. I feel like something going to happen. Like, when you don't post, something is going to happen. Like, this person is literally going to be checking your page. Like, oh, my God, are they going to post? Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, something is literally going to happen. And this person is going to get pissed off at you because you didn't tell them what the fuck to do. And be cautious of somebody trying to also get close to you. This person is trying to use you as, like, a personal little light or something to guide them through their life. They want to do it in a slick way. They may act like they want to date you. But this person really, truly needs your guidance. This person got several different people on the side. Excuse me. Or no, you would be on the side. This person is trying to, uh, they want you to help navigate them through life or something. These people are just desperate. Instead of them coming to ask you, oh, because they broke it for That's why they got to try to act like they want you. Well, they, this person ain't going to come say, hey, can I pay you $1,000 a week to give me certain information? They ain't going to do that. This person right here is very cheap. But they want you to do some shit for free. AKA, they want you to get in a relationship. Some of y'all got some people that literally want to get in a relationship with you only to be guided by you. This is the shit I be talking about. That's why you can't put your trust in anyone. These hoes and niggas is losing. And then the fact that they go do spell work trying to knock your light out so that you can't, you know, see something coming and you still see it coming anyway. That's crazy. Be very careful at this time. This damn Lions Gate portal or whatever the fuck this is. It really done hyped some people up to think that they were really going to have a new beginning and they not. It's some people here that are about to be way further back than they were before. They would have been better off losing at that level. But now they're about to be losing so rapidly and tremendously. That shit going to be scary. This You seen Victory and Success was the first card that came out. Followed by the truth in the damn universe. These were the first cards to come out. It's the truth. Somebody's faded to be a loser. They're fated to be at the bottom. That's their fate. So they're trying to take it out on you. In some kind of way, they feel you're responsible. I don't know how. Somebody feels like they don't got no wisdom, so if you don't guide them, things go wrong, and they, you're to blame. Well, if they would have just posted and told me what to do, bitch, if you would have just paid this person, bitch, you'll be just fine. If this person is doing something, it's because they fucking want to. What are you talking about? This person don't have no obligation to your motherfucking ass. Karmic ass motherfucker. 
And once again, it's not everybody that subscribes to you, fam, masculine. That's the truth, Rue. It's not everyone. It's a bunch of karmics that are following you as well, though. Don't get that shit twisted and don't let it go over your head. It's a lot. It's a lot of karmics that have lost these men or women and they need your guidance. They don't, these people have literally worked against you. They have literally done spell work on you after spell work after spell work. And they're trying to take something else from you now simply because you're minding your business and they don't know what to do. That's so sad. You need to rely on God, bro. You can't just be dependent on this damn person. The universe is bringing a tower and this person is getting wish fulfillment. Bitch, you need to mind your business and let them enjoy their life. The fuck? It's like you ain't got no damn peace. You ain't got peace when you working and you ain't got peace when you take a break or something from work. You're at work and they bringing issues. And then you not at work and it's still issues at work. That's when I'm, what the fuck? You're still being talked about at work after you don't even work here no more. Or something like that. Damn, I don't know what this is. But just stay grounded. Because he fought losing, okay? I'm going to leave it here. Remember that God loves you and so do I. Bye, guys.